Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hello everyone. My name's Drew Fernandez, and today I'll be taking you through the five best ways to counter Demon Hunters in the arena. Demon Hunters can be an extremely frustrating class to face. However, knowing how to deal with them will make your life easier to play around them. So the first way, which is pretty much the bane of Demon Hunter, is to play around Mana Rift. Mana Rift can easily be your team's demise if a Demon Hunter can get away with using this on cooldown against your healer. They will usually achieve this by stunning your healer into a mana rift, stripping a lot of mana from them. As the healer, you can tend to use Relentless or Trinket in order to deal with this, depending on your class. For instance, Mistweavers could play Relentless as they have a chance to teleport out of the stuns before the mana rift potentially hits. If you play with Trinkets, then you want to use it on stuns if you know a mana rift will follow, allow you to avoid the mana rift. Unfortunately, that's all you can do as a healer, and you will rely on your DPS partners to stop the mana rifts most of the game with some form of CC. To do this, you want to crowd control the demon hunter quickly during the start of the stun he uses on your healer. That way, you can deny a mana rift from being used in time during that global, and put them behind on mana rifts landing, which will help you against demon hunter teams significantly. Another dangerous part of Demon Hunter is Metamorphosis, which you'll have to watch out for any time they pop this cooldown. This cooldown deals an absurd amount of damage, which can easily net them a kill during this window. Make sure that Metamorphosis is being used and to not mistake it for demonic form after an eye beam. It can also be used as a form of a ton of self-healing when low on HP, which can allow them to easily recover their health basically being unkillable during their metamorphosis cooldown. So, when they use meta, there's basically two things you want to do as your team. Firstly, you should stop targeting the demon hunter if you are, unless you can kill them rapidly. Secondly, you want to look at crowd controlling or peeling their metamorphosis during this cooldown. You want to do this whenever you see metamorphosis activated, so that you can stop as much damage as possible, making sure the demon hunter doesn't overwhelm your team with high uptime of metamorphosis. Interrupting them with crowd control as showcased here will allow your team to live with more ease. Another ability you'll need to watch out for is Rain from Above. This is a PvP talent that demon hunters don't take all the time, but when they do, you have to be careful against it. There's a few ways you can deal with this, but the main and best way to deal with this, which everyone can do, is to simply line of sight it. As you can see, it's simple to see as the demon hunter will fly up high in the air. This is the time when you want to start line of sighting, as we see Cervantes do here. That results in you not taking any damage during the remainder of their rain from above reducing its damage significantly. Here's what happens when you don't line of sight Raymond from above. You can see it deals unhealable damage, dropping the rogue incredibly low and forcing the blessing of sacrifice from the enemy holy paladin. Other ways to deal with it are to use standard magic reduction or deflection abilities, such as spell reflection, cloak of shadows, or anti-magic shell. As a DK, you could also look to death grip the metamorphosis, which will completely negate the cooldown and stop them from dealing its high magic damage. Even though demon hunters have a lot of strengths, one weakness is their lack of a slow, which you could abuse and take advantage of. Their only slow is in the form of Vengeful Retreat, which is quite a lengthy cooldown and a small duration for a snare to last. As such, it means movement speed increasing effects and kiting in a certain way can be very beneficial at avoiding a Demon Hunter's pressure. This means kiting around pillars will be excellent into Demon Hunters. You should be able to avoid quite a bit of damage, making it difficult for the Demon Hunter to connect well. When pillar kiting like this, if you have any assistance from your DPS partners, this could force the Demon Hunter off your healer or slow down them from connecting to a target. This could also buy you time to mount up and run away from the Demon Hunter. It sounds quite troll, but it's actually an excellent way to abuse their lack of a snare and continue to kite them. Just be careful not to overstay your welcome on the mount if you're falling to the pressure. Lastly, if you want to go for a kill against the Demon Hunter, you want to aim to kill them inside of stun windows. 
As we know, Demon Hunters are hard to kill generally due to their self-healing and dodging abilities from Blur and Blade Dance. During demonic forms or metamorphosis, a demon hunter will be incredibly hard to kill as they have a ton of extra self-healing, which is why they are usually not a kill target in these stages. You want to have good damage during your stun windows on demon hunters. Lasso is a perfect stun for demon hunters as they can't dodge it and it deals great damage to them. Having big damage in these situations while stopping kills can take them down swiftly, as we see Jamie and Zen do here. Chaining your stuns may also be needed in order to take down the Demon Hunter Do. That covers the 5 main ways to counter Demon Hunters. Hope you all enjoyed this guide, make sure to leave any comments or questions down below if you have any. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video.